Hey fans, this is the headliner Chris Michaels and you are watching Realistic Fishing. So I'd advise you to keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today we're in the studio because there's still too much snow on the ground. However, I'm starting to see the street through the snow. I can only hope it doesn't snow more or freeze into a sheet of ice. I'm hopeful that I can get out there and go fishing next week. We'll see, right? We'll see. But in the meantime, I have so much cool stuff in the fishing studio. It's time to show off some lures. These are strange, old, off-brand lures that I think I'm gonna try in the upcoming season. I was looking through some of my stuff these caught my eye. Let's take a look. All right, this is not very strange and it's not really an off-brand, but it is not super common for bass fishermen, and that's Castaic. Like I said, not older strange, but yeah, but these, these look really good. They look really lifelike. Once I saw this, I thought this would be a great shad imitator come springtime. Yeah, Castaic soft baits. I'm going to call them shad. They look good. Definitely going to try them. The next one is Big Bite Baits Freshwater Bio Bait. And why this is strange or unusual to me is bio bait. It's in some kind of oil that always seems to permeate the plastic package somehow gets on the outside of the package. This label is oily. Yeah, smells kind of weird. But I thought I'd give them a try. If you lose your lure, it'll biodegrade over time. I lose a lot of lures, so maybe it's a fun gimmick. Looks like a decent worm. Yeah, that's a Big Bite Baits Freshwater Bio Bait 4-inch worm. Hi, this is Nicole with The Last Cast with Tiktaalik, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, next on the list, we have Bass Magic Fighting Craw. This is actually a lucky strike, and I have more lucky strikes in the pile. I don't know why. Something about lucky strike. Maybe it was cheap back in the day and I saw them at department stores like Kmart and Walmart. Maybe it's the design. Maybe it's the name Lucky Strike. I think that's the name of cigarettes as well. But yeah, Fighting Craw. This looks pretty good. It's got a bulbous craw body and, you know, fat lifelike pinchers. Might need a big hook for this. Maybe a 4 aught or even larger. Good looking craws here. 4.5 inch 4 count. They were $1.99 on clearance at Ollie's. That's 50 cents each. Maybe they can live up to it. Alright, the next one we have is Sure Hooker Super Soft High Floaters. Sure Hooker is a funny name. High floater is a funny way to describe this. But they look like good little worms. I'm not sure what size this is. I need to take one out. Smells like anise or licorice. So these are flat on top. Most likely a hand pour. I mean the bag looks pretty old. And it's like a segmented worm with a beaver tail. I bet I could catch a fish on this sure hooker high floater. I wish there was a date or something on here so I knew when this came out, but looking at the package, I don't see any website on here. All I see is a P.O. box, so I'm guessing they're pre-internet. Late 80s, maybe? If anyone knows about Sure Hooker, feel free to leave a comment. 
The next one is an Arky Crawlin' Fry made in the USA. It's not open yet, but I'll see if I can get one separated for you. Can you see it? It looks like a 5-inch centipede, pretty much like this right here. It says the crawlin' fry is loaded with salt and has the same tantalizing legs as its two cousins, the crawlin' grub and salty crawlin' lizard. I guess they're talking about other branded items from Arky. I don't think I've ever caught a bass on a lure like this, like a giant centipede. Someone once sent me a lure, a scissor comb, and I tried it and I just couldn't get a bite. This is similar to that. Maybe we can get one on the crawl and fry. I don't know. My name is Harper Grace and this is Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's keep going. Here we have a Trigger X Minnow in four inch. I think I picked these up five or six years ago and I really hope they're not dried up and hard. It's really hard to tell because this plastic clamshell that they're in, I might be feeling that, but I might be feeling the minnow. If they're not too hard to try, I'm gonna try the Trigger X. This is another gulp type lure, kind of impregnated with juice and it dries out after a while. I have caught some on other Trigger X, little panfish baits, but not this. I was hoping I could try it before they're ruined. All right, we have another Lucky Strike USA Rick Clun Classic Favorites. It doesn't say the name on the front. It doesn't say it on the back. So we're gonna open it up and come up with a name ourselves. Here's what it is. Ooh, not the greatest. Right? It's sort of like a tube, but it's shaped like a fish, and it has a pretty bad, unrealistic print job. So it's like half a fish, and the back half has rotted off. I thought it looked just stupid enough for me to try. And it smells... Ooh. It smells... <laughs> Man, it smells like you took a lighter to the back of one of these. Very strong chemical rubber smell. Maybe, if we're lucky, we can get one on the Rick Clun half a dead minnow tube. Got a few more here. This is Go To Bait Company Hand Poured Craw. Everyone needs a go to. That's the gimmick line right here. I think these are made in Tennessee. And that's why I'm featuring them, because I'm from Tennessee. But it says, all go-to baits are handcrafted with the highest of standards, ensuring that all soft plastics float. Floating craws. Mag Ned rig. Maybe a Texas rig. I think I can probably get something on this, so I might as well try. This is James in Olive Branch, Mississippi, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, only a couple more to go. This is BioBait, not Big Bite Baits BioBait, but I'm not sure. It might actually be the same thing. We have another biodegradable craw here, made in the USA, and it's infused with fish oil. And I guess it breaks down after sitting in the water for a long time. But here's a good little bonus. Never dries out. Unlike gulp and those minnows we looked at earlier, this says it'll never dry out. I hope that's true, and I hope I can get a fish on the bio bait. And last but not least, we have the Brendan Miller Swim Bait. That's right, I occasionally buy lures that other YouTubers sell just so I can give it a try. This one's been sitting in my collection for a while. Never got around to using it. Yeah, 3.5 inch swim bait. We wouldn't be going for small bass with this. 
Maybe. Maybe we can get lucky and get one on the Brendan Miller. So yeah, some weird stuff today. Some older lures, some off-brand stuff, even stuff put out by other YouTubers. Can we get some bass? Can we get some sunshine? I don't know. I'll be hopeful. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.